everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing the No Mirror Makeup Challenge. I've seen so many videos here on YouTube of people doing it and it is really funny and I just, knowing myself, I know it's going to be like a massive fail. So I thought, why not? Let's film it and see how I go. Also, I'm not going to be easy on myself. I'm going to make it a little bit hard in terms of like eyeshadow colors and like my lipstick color just so I look like a hot mess by the end of it. But we're going to give it a go. I am actually going to try, but we'll see how it goes. Also, my screen is flipped out. Um, I actually can't see. I wear glasses. So I can like see myself, but I can't see, like I couldn't see, you know, eyeshadow or anything because I'm that blind. But I just keep it out because sometimes my camera battery gets full or it's like running out of... Um, my camera memory card gets full or my camera runs out of battery so I need to be able to see if I'm still filming um, but I literally won't be able to see anything like I'm that blind like my glasses are right there I'm really blind so yeah. so I'm gonna get straight into it and I'm gonna just be using what I've been using for like ages and it's the Tarte Brighter Days I love this it's super moisturizing and to be honest, you can't get this wrong because like it's a primer and you know, no one can really see. So, start off putting this all over my damn face and we'll see how we go. Okay, I'm just gonna let that sink in for a couple of minutes and don't mind me if I'm like, looking around everywhere because I literally have nowhere else to look and I'm trying not to look in the viewfinder even though I can't see anyway. But I just want people to be like, you're cheating, you're not. You're not doing this properly, so don't mind me. Next up, I'm going to take my Kat Von D Lock It Foundation and just a Zoeva foundation brush. And I think the best way is to just like pump this like on the brush. I don't even know. Okay, I'm going to try to pump it oh, on the brush. Okay, that's a lot. Whoops. Shit. Oh my gosh, I'm so scared. Okay, I'm just going to distribute it all around my face and hope for the best. And it's a really thick foundation, so if you forget to like, well if you don't blend it in properly, you're probably going to be in trouble, so good choice from me. This is ridiculous. You don't realise how much you rely on mirrors, eh, until you don't have one. Okay, I might put a bit more on because I'm a bit extra, so I don't even know if this matches me at the moment. It's not like I can see. I feel like this is already a train wreck and I haven't even finished my foundation yet. I feel like I've got a lot on this side. It's probably gone all in my hair by now. Oh. Also, it's like a million degrees here in Brisbane, so... I'm like sweating up a storm as well. So this is quite ridiculous. I'm just being extra paranoid now and like rubbing it in everywhere. I don't even know where to look. I'm like making sure I don't look in the viewfinder so people don't think I'm cheating. Next up, I'm gonna take the Kat Von D Locket Concealer and I think I'll use this Zoeva brush to distribute it. Okay, so this is going to be a bit difficult. So I'm going to put it under my eyes. Oh, some down my nose as I always do. Some underneath my brows. And on my forehead. I'm going to try to blend this out. I don't even know where I'm really going to blend, but just, oh god. I think the best thing to do is just shut my eyes and kind of just go with it. I feel like my eye is stinging. I can't even feel it. I can't even put some on. Hopefully this doesn't look too bad. Hopefully I've blended out most of it. Like I think I've been pretty, I don't know, full on with this. Next I'm going to take my Too Faced setting powder in a beauty blender and I am going to bake with this under my eyes or even just tap it on. Like I don't even know. I'm just going to kind of go with whatever I need to do at the time. Okay, let's give it a go. 
Well, this part doesn't seem too bad since it's translucent. I'm gonna pack some more on underneath this eye. So now that I've put on my Too Faced setting powder underneath my eyes, for the rest of my face, I'm gonna take the Astralis Fresh and Flawless powder and just a real Techniques brush, and I'm just gonna pack this all over my face as I always do. Let's see how this goes. See, we haven't really gotten to the hard part yet, but I would be surprised if I've still stuffed it up somehow already. I think the best thing is just to close your eyes and hope for the best. I think that's kind of the key when it comes to this. Just close your eyes and hope for the best. Just gonna dust over my eyes in case there's any leftover setting powder on there as well. So now that that's on, I'm gonna take my NARS Laguna bronzer with another Real Techniques brush. This is just their bronzing brush. You can't look in the mirror. I'm just gonna bronze all around my face. I feel like I've just screwed it up. I'm being like really careless with this bronzer. Hopefully it still looks all right. I feel like that's just gonna have to do. I don't even know how it looks. I don't think this bronze is like too bad. I don't know, it's buildable. I'm just gonna use the same bronzer to contour. God help us all. Okay. For eyeshadow, I'm going to take my Naked 3 palette and not looking at the mirror, I'm going to use, I'm going to take Nuna and I'm going to put that in my crease as like a little transition base color. I'm really scared, I've never done this obviously. Oh god. Whoa. Having your eyes closed when doing this, it feels like someone else is like doing your makeup. That's really weird. Okay, now, oh shit, okay. This already feels like a mess and I have like a bit of eyeshadow on this brush. So who bloody knows what's gonna happen. Oh my gosh. Just focusing this on the crease and on the outer part of the eye. All right, that's just gonna have to do then I'm gonna go into the darker brown this is called factory um, I don't know it's like kind of a taupe color more like it but I'm gonna pack a whole lot onto the brush oh no okay I'm gonna pack some onto the brush and tap that bitch off because I keep putting I keep going back for more though and tapping it off I don't even know what I'm doing I'm so stressed okay I'm gonna put this on, I'm doing it again. I'm gonna put this on the outer part of my eye and yeah, hope for the best. Oh my God, where's my eye? Oh, oh, okay. Pack this on and kind of put it, pull it up to the crease a bit. Okay, that feels somewhat okay. I don't even know, find where this eye is. Oh, so far, so good. I'm gonna put a bit more on because because I, I just wanna make myself look ridiculous. Not really. I'm actually really trying. Found my eye okay that time. Okay, yeah, this feels really good. I feel like this might be going okay. I don't know, how does it look? Does that look like shit or does it look amazing? Because I'm ridiculous, I'm going to go in with the Naked 2 palette next. And I'm going to take this darker purple called Busted. I don't even know if you can even see this because... Anyway, I'm going to take Busted with the same brush and pack that on the outer part of my eye and kind of like smudge it into my lash line as well. Just ruin myself as well. Okay, that feels somewhat... Decent. Okay. Well, this feels okay. Obviously, I need to blend it, but that will come soon. Next, I'm gonna go in with YDK. I don't. I'm gonna put it so close to my face just in case it doesn't fit in the frame. So YDK, and I'm gonna pack that on my lid. It's kind of like a um, silvery purple. I don't even know if that's how you describe it but we're gonna go with that and I'm just using a Lulu and lipstick 
brush for this. Oh, oh, oh. I don't know, I'm doing like patting and swiping motions, which probably isn't the best, but I'm gonna put a bit on the inner corner as well, just go all out. Okay, next I'm just gonna take a blending brush and I'm just gonna start blending to tomorrow and just see if this does, well I won't be able to see if it does anything but I'm gonna hope it's gonna do something. I don't even know how it looks now and I don't even know how it's gonna look after this but hopefully it does some sort of powerful work. Blend into tomorrow girl. I don't even know if I'm blending where the bloody eyeshadow is to be honest. Blend that bitch. That feels blended. I don't even know if anything's blending to be honest, but praying. And then I think I'll just like ruin my immediate future even more and then go back in with Busted after the blending and pack that on again because like ruin your life all in one go, you know? Just so I don't lose any um, intensity. Not that this probably doesn't look intense enough. And then I'm going to lightly blend, very lightly. That's all I'm gonna do. Next, I'm gonna do the scariest thing in the world and I'm going to tight line. Oh, okay. I'm just gonna to have to do it. I'm probably gonna poke my eye out, but what sort of fun would it be if you didn't? Oh, hell, oh God. Oh, that's disgusting. Oh, okay, I'm just gonna leave it there because that's terrifying. Next, I'm gonna take my Benefit Their Real Mascara. This is terrifying as well. Oh, okay, I'm just gonna look down. Oh God. Oh, oh, I feel like I've already gotten some on my eyelid, but what can you do? Okay, let's just leave it at that one. And then I'm gonna do this eye. Just trying to look down because that helps. I'm just going to leave the mascara there. Next, I'm gonna go back in with Busted from the Naked True palette and I'm going to run this under my lower lash line because I am crazy. Oh, okay. Oh, 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 there's a shadow in my eye. I feel like I've put a lot on. Does that look bad? I can't even see. Oh, that's a lot. I feel like I'm putting heaps on. I'm gonna look like a raccoon. All I can see is like shadow going up into my eye. Surely it won't look that bad. I'm just gonna take a blending brush and like blend my under eyes. Just so I don't, well maybe I'll probably look more like a raccoon now, but that's all right. Raccoons are cute, so who's the real winner here? I'm gonna go back in with the eyeliner and try to do my, oh jeez, try to do my bottom waterline. Oh! Oh, okay, that's done. And this is the part I'm really scared about because I rely on my eyebrows to like complete the look and I rely a lot on like shaping them properly with a brow pencil. So this will be a disaster, but I'm gonna take the Benefit Goof Proof Brow Pencil. I have the shade three and I'm so scared because like I make my tail of my brows a little bit thicker with this. So find the brow. They feel really high up. <laughs> Draw that shit on. Oh well, what can you do? It might not even be that bad. Okay, well that's that brow. I don't even know how that looks, so let's just keep on going. Found my brow. Hopefully. Oh my god. Like, I feel like I'm covering the hair. Okay, I'm just gonna leave it there. That's my brows done. Hopefully they look amazing. Cause you know, why wouldn't they? It's not like I'm, you know, not using a mirror or anything. Okay, next I'm going to use this Tarte blush in Tipsy. And just with a blush brush, don't want to look at the mirror. And I'm just going to pack this on. Oh. Okay, this feels good. Okay, that's good, let's just keep on going. Next, I'm gonna take this Barry M Cosmic Lights palette, if you can even see that. And I think I might take, I might take a mix of, you can't even see, I'm gonna take a mix of the two middle shades. I'm just gonna put it up to my face, because hopefully you can see my face and then maybe you'll be able to see the colors. 
So I'm going to take a mix of those highlight shades, probably more of the bottom one, the bluey white one. And I'm just going to hopefully highlight. Wow, a lot of product is coming off. Oh shit. Okay. Okay, that feels fabulous. Next is lipstick. I'm not going to do a lip liner. I can't even find a lip liner that matches this at the moment, but it's a Stefan lipstick in the color Vibrant. It's this orangey red, so, you know, really easy to screw up. But we're just going to give it a go because that's what we're doing in this video. And just put it on. I don't really know where my lip ends. Okay. The lipstick feels nice. That's all I can say right now. The hardest part is getting in the corners. I don't know what's happening. I'm going to leave it at that. So that is my finished makeup look with no mirror at all. And I tried really hard not to look in the viewfinder only if my camera turned off and I wouldn't even like look i haven't even looked properly yet and i can't even see like i really cannot see okay so i'm just gonna look in the mirror now and see what i've done i probably have lipstick on my teeth right now too oh my god oh shit the highlight my eyes look so good for like no oh my god i match oh my god the eyes look so good this eyebrow looks kind of okay. I could have gone a little bit further down. This eyebrow, I didn't like. That's horrendous. But I did really well on this part. That, I didn't even know what I was thinking going up that high. The lipstick looks good. It's like a little bit wonky on the top. But, you know, that's me on a bad day, you know. Even me on a good day. So, I've completely ruined it with the highlighter. Like the blush and the contour looked fine, but I butchered it with the choice of highlighter. Like I literally, my nose is blue. My nose is blue and my cheeks are like blue from the highlighter. That's insane. But the eye makeup looks really good. I could have like obviously blended it out a little bit better in some areas, but I'm really impressed with how this came about. This looks really good. I never thought I'd do this well, but... That's what you get when you try doing it without a mirror. I will zoom you in and show you the finished product. As you can see, I made a total idiot of myself. So that is my no mirror makeup challenge. I really hope you enjoyed watching it. Give it a go if you haven't, it's actually really fun. I really enjoyed creating it. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. I would love to have you. I put out a video every week, so keep on coming back for more, hun. I would love to have you, and I will see you in my next video.